Hi guys, so uh, continuing on with the diamond press review tutorials, I have these two kits, they kind of, well they coordinate, they go together, so uh, diamond press did send these items free of charge from my review and all opinions are my own. Any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you ever purchase items through those links, so thank you guys. Um, so this is called the dimensional kit photo memory box, and then we have this other piece that stamps and dies that will go back with it, so let's open this up, I am very curious as to what these are. Depending on when you see this video, um, I don't know when this is going to be released, but Diamond Press is doing a Facebook Live, which they also put here on YouTube. You guys can check out on the 30th, and I'll have the information in the description box, and um, you, know, you guys can see it there. So they'll have sneak peeks. So like I said, usually I don't really get to have a sneak peek. I just start working with them, so it'll be fun um, to, to see that. Okay, so this is a stamp and dies kit, and this is this other one. So I'm gonna unwrap it so it's not crinkling in your ears, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's check this out. All right, so this is the main die set. Super cute already. I have a feeling. Well, let's 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 see what it's supposed to do. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's page number six. So I was like, hold on. Here's <laughs> number one. Start with number one for our photo memory box here. Um, so we're gonna make a little box, super sweet, super adorable. And then you have your accordion pages. Oh my gosh. And then it says to embellish and include, uh, use include stamps and dice to embellish the box and accordion book or however it is that you wanna use it. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. All right. Look at that. So when you tuck that in there, you can pull it up with the little, um, tab here and then it's like a little box that has a little accordion that could just be notes or messages or images or pictures <laughs> you know whatever is you want to put in there how cute so the dies there to create that and then it has the large marquee um, cutting folder and then our stamps so let's look at these so this is the main set and then this is a set that you can pick up to add on to this so let's see we have capture the good times we have the little um, camera with like some cute little flowers around it here are the highlights good for one free and then you have like little um things that you can write those are separate uh lines should i say captured love this moment say cheese you know all sorts of cute things way back when and then you have this redeem for and then you can write it that in um so let's see here i uh, remember when loving this moment these moments way back when collect moments click click how cute another little camera is a smile with a little bird how cute is that camera here? Favorite memory. I mean, there's lots of things that have to do with like that kind of remembrance kind of thing. Super cute. Okay, and then the add-on. Is this something else you want to pick up? It does come with a smaller uh, folder. And again, you can run that through the regular, uh, the marquee, the large guy, or the mini um, die and press machine. So we have um, our dies here, and it looks like little wedding rings. We have little airplanes. How cute is that? So let's look at this and we'll see. So we have the little tag, um, little toppers or however you want to use them. Um, a square, which is really nice. That's good to use for anything. Um, we have the little globe. Oh my gosh, the flowers. Again, the little uh, airplanes, the heart. Oh, okay, it's a wedding cake, like a layered cake. How cute. The balloons, a gift, and then the little rings. And then of course those are the dice for all those. And let's check out the stamps. Again, you have a several different ones. Um, or a couple different ones for the globe, which is really nice. And then travel adventures, let's go, best trip. So this is just like a little memento you can make, really cute, it has party, let's party, happy birthday, make a wish, so like more of a birthday theme with the balloons, hip hip hooray, candles, the cake, you know, the flowers like we saw there, um, our wedding, wedding memories, super, super cute. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is grab some paper. We'll start with our box and the accordion, and then we'll uh, embellish. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so these are the colors I'll be using. I'm thinking about making a little uh, coupon book for Miranda. She would love that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, she likes to have things like that and be like, this is what we're gonna do today. Okay, um, let's see. So I need the top. Actually, I think that's the lid. Let's see here. <clears throat> And then the base. So I'm gonna cut the top from this pink paper. And you know, the size of this is about three and three quarter inch square. So you don't need too much paper for this whole project really. So I use that one and I'll use the beige for the base of the box, which is this guy. 
And then you need to cut three of the accordion. And you know what I wanted to point out? I didn't really show the dies off too much other than talking about that's so what makes the box. But we have all these little toppers and brackets and pieces. And look at this, little photo squares. Adorable. We have the... Um, kind of a tag there. And this little guy, I think we're gonna use this to help us, you know, open it up to uh, bring out the accordion. But either way, look at the Polaroid frame and then you can use this just to pop in pictures. It just cuts the little um, slits there so you can put a picture in without gluing it down. And then this this one right here cuts a perfect size picture that you can put in there or that you can mat into the little accordion. Isn't that cute? And the accordion's with this guy. Oh my gosh. Oh, little hearts. Okay. Um, Yes, and then three of this. So I'm just gonna run all these through the marquee and I'll be right back. I do wanna mention as you roll these out, um, whenever you have something that just has a really kind of straight line um, with a die, you just kinda wanna give it a little tilt just so that the rollers in the machine will hit one area and then another, then another, instead of just like a bump and it might just kinda pass over that. So just put that in there a little bit tilted. And when you cut, you have no problem there. Look at that. All right, I'll keep cutting pieces here. And so I am going to make, like I said, a coupon book. But um, I want to show you how you might use the um, this little guy here. So let's say when I put my coupon book together, I want to also include like a little image or something cute, um, either of Miranda herself or maybe like a little cartoon character or something. Um, but we can definitely use that there and I just want to show you real quickly here um, you know you're it's a very very easy assembly and it's just showing you the different ways you can use some of these other pieces here so again you can cut your picture you have the little frame you can pop on top of that you can you know obviously we have the dies that we can cut certain things this little guy just pop it in there you have decorative photo corners you know just to make it look a little cuter even oh my gosh so um, I'm gonna take one of these guys I'll take this one and I'm just gonna put that on there and I'll run it through and I'll be right back. Okay, super easy, so I'm gonna put this back. And okay, so that was getting our pieces. Basically, I went ahead and cut the accordion part, but we're gonna just fold our box on the lines. Super easy, it's already scored and cut, which is really, really cool. So just gonna score it on the little lines. You wanna bone fold it, go ahead. I'll fold these guys. So I'm just going to go around all these pieces and maybe I will bone fold them. Just a little crisp. Okay. On both the lid and the base and I'll be right back. So that's that. And all we're going to do now is just keep our tabs in and put glue and glue them together. Same for the top and the base. There we go. And I'll do two at a time because I can hold the two. I have little clippies too that I can put <laughs> to help hold them. But basically there and there. And then again on this other side. Okay, I'll do the same thing with the box base. Now the glue holds pretty quickly, but I like to hold it. Look at that. And I'll do the same thing for the box base. Okay. So cute, aw, look at that. <laughs> and it's about eh, three, a little over three quarter inches high and about two and a half inches square. Super cute. So on this guy, um, which is basically step four, we are going to trim one of these off now. These are made so that they're perforated. So, you know, if you're using it as a little coupon book, you're going to um, be able to tear off your little coupons which is really cute um, but I'm going to set it up this way because I wanted that piece to be in the center there and I think that's what I want to do oh you know what I'll make that the base yes because um, at the end once you're making done making your accordion you are going to glue this base piece down so I'll make that the base and then we'll do these other ones. So basically we're just gonna glue all these guys together, but you do need to take off this end off of one of them. So you can um, cut it off, which is what I'm gonna do, or you can just you know, use the perforations to pop it off, but we're gonna trim off one of these. You can use a paper trimmer if you prefer, whatever it is you like. And we're going to glue these guys together. 
So I'm just going to put glue. Adhere this guy. I move some of these things. And I'm doing it right above that perforated line. And this guy too. If you want to do your stamping first, you know, go ahead and do your stamping. Oh, you know what? Um, the line I cut off, I'm going to put this way. Um, I'm going to stamp it probably afterwards, obviously, because I've already glued it together. But this is step four, and then step five is to embellish, which is all the stamping and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to let this set up. I'm going to grab some inks, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm just going to stamp these with what I consider like floral colors that Miranda might like. So I have some pink tulip, pale fig, and spring meadow. So pink, purple, and green, kind of lighter colors. And again, since this is a coupon book, I'm going to start off here. And we are stamping everything on the front. Even though we're folding it forward, front and back, it's not going to show the back, right? So what I do want to see is that's going to be glued down. This is going to go this way. This is going this way. Okay. So we have this guy. It says redeem four. And I'll start this one in purple. And that's all I'll do in each little square is go find a little stamp that I want to work with. And just pop it down. Aww. I know it's very light because of the colors I chose, but look at that. So cute. So then we have like good for one free. And then we have little lines that we can... Um, also stamp or not stamp or however you want to do that. I'll just move this to the side. And so that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to go through and pick some colors. And stamp, stamp, stamp. Cute. Maybe I'll put the lines on this one in green. Aww. Okay, so I'll continue doing that down the whole okay, script. I have my little strip here, and so I just kind of mixed and matched the colors and the sentiments there. And then down here I just chose a sentiment, I put good times together. Because everything I'm going to put on here is going to be like pedicure. Like, she likes to be with mom. <laughs> so whatever, you know, we spend time, that's what she's going to like. So um, I will fold this up. So we have it this way, and then this one I'm going to fold back. And to be honest, I might have to go the other way, I'm not sure, because... You know, we need this to... Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's kind of what I was wondering. What's going to happen with this part? So I do want this piece to be glued down, so I can't switch that. So this is what it is. And what I'm going to do is decorate that, and then um, the rest of it. I mean, you don't have to, but you can do whatever you like. So let me choose something to put on there. And then we're going to use a little tag. They have a little tag that you can kind of pull this up with if you want to use that. So let me check that out. I'll be right so back. if I look at number six, it does say just to glue the back down and then just to add that little tag on here. So that's what I'm going to do. And so this is my base. Let's not get that twisted there. The top has, it's smaller. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit smaller, like not as deep. And then it has the little notches there. And what I'm going to do, since I'm going to pop something in here later, I'm only going to put glue in this area. But if you're just going to have a flat piece, you can just put glue the whole thing. But So I don't want to put any in the corners. So cute. Now if you're going to do this at home, if you already knew what picture or what you're going to use, I would put that in first and then glue it down. Because I'm going to have to kind of get it in there. It'll be fine. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And then we have our little... I just grabbed a scrap of pink paper. And we have our little tag here. And I'm just going to run this through real quick. And we'll adhere that. I love the colors on this, so cute. So they should just stick it on the back like this. I just want to see like where it's going to go once I close this. You know, I want to know about how deep I should put this in here. Or if it's just going to bend either way. I'll put it on here like this. Okay. I'm going to put it a little bit further in. 
Oh, that lid doesn't want to go on, and that's okay. I'm just going to hold this here until it's set up. And um, in the meantime, for the cover, I'm probably going to use one of the sentiments and cut it out with one of the cute little labels there. So when I come back, I'll have the things ready for that. Scrap of paper here, I, the beige uh, paper. I think I'm going to use this sentiment. The love of family is the greatest. It was life's greatest blessings. I think that's sweet. Um, and then, I mean, either one. Well, you know what? I'll stamp it first, and then I'll choose which one of these guys we want to use for that. And let's go with purple since I already used the other pink quite a bit on the outside with the box being pink. Sweet. Okay. And then I think I am going to cut a couple in pink, some little pink hearts. What I'm going to do is stamp these on white paper. Yes. Let's have some paper here. And we'll just do a couple little pink hearts that I'm also going to die cut because we have a die cut for them. Cute. And then I'll choose one of these guys. That is really pretty. This one might just fit a little better, so I'll use that guy. Okay, I'm going to tape that down and run it through the marquee. And then I'm also going to run through the little heart. So we have a little heart die right here. So I'm going to cut a little aperture for this, which is just cutting a scrap of paper and then using that to help me kind of eyeball where I'm going to put my die so it cuts more perfectly. And I'll be right back. And real quick, I'll show you what I mean. So I run this through a scrap piece of paper and just leave some tape on there. So when I take it out, I have a little hinge and I can see right through it. And then I put it on the die, or not the die, put it on the paper there where I stamped. I can see exactly where it's going to cut. I'll lay that back down. I glue this, or tape it, should I say, not glue it, so it doesn't move. I'm going to take away a little bit of this excess. And then run it back through, and then you'll have your perfect little heart cut out, or whatever it is that you're trying to cut out. There it is. Okay, guys, so we have our little box top. Now, it just depends on how you want to put this on here. Look at this. So cute. And the reason I put that was the way I did is so I can leave it kind of pushed in. So that's kind of what I was gauging, like how far in should I glue this little uh, piece. And then you put your lid. So, you know, usually the lid has the little notches on the sides. So, you know, however it is that you want to decorate it. So I'm going to put those notches on the side and I'm going to decorate it facing forward, basically, like this. And I'm just going to add a little glue. And I already put some dimensional adhesives on the back of the little hearts. So I'm just going to put this down right here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is just so sweet. Hmm, let's go this way and maybe this way. Cute. So there you go, the little project. Again, I made mine into a little coupon book, but if you wanna just make it like a little memento for you know a vacation you took with some family or however, or a you know, sweet moment, baby book, of course, newborn baby. Oh my gosh, look at this. So cute. And then you have your little tab and it opens up. And you have everything in there. So adorable. Very, works up very quickly. Um, yeah, so thank you so much, Diane, for us for sending these items for my review. Again, we have the basic set here, and then we have the add-on of the um, occasions, stamps and dies. Again, you know, so what they're showing you here are some of the dies that came in the original set, right? And how to use it maybe with these other ones here. So just super adorable. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll have the links in the description box if and when they're available, and I'll see you guys. You know, sorry, I always come back as I'm playing with this. I'm looking at it, and if you wanted to stick the top part on, you could just make it so that it's a book that has a little accordion that's just in there. You don't have to take it off, you know? So, just another idea. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.